what does the Jones Act cover? Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me for another one of our frequently asked questions. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. Today we are gonna talk about the Jones Act, what it covers, and how it is very different from workers' compensation. One of the most important bodies of law for oil and gas workers is the Jones Act. This federal law applies to a seaman who is defined as a person who performs a significant amount, at least 30%, of their time working on a vessel. When a worker covered by the Jones Act is injured, they may sue an employer for negligence that may have caused those injuries. This is unlike other land-based employees who are often barred from suing their employer under the exclusive remedy of workers' compensation. The Jones Act is also unlike workers' compensation, which is a no-fault benefit system, because the Jones Act is fault-based, meaning injured workers must prove liability or fault before they may obtain benefits. Many other exceptions or nuances of the Jones Act make it more complicated than most other worker compensation or negligence laws. Here at Jim Adler & Associates, our Texas Maritime Lawyers and Jones Act Lawyers know how confusing this area of law can be for injured workers and their families. Getting into more specifics, the Jones Act covers seamen who work aboard vessels and structures at sea. A vessel must be in navigation, which means afloat and operating on navigable waters. The vessel must also be capable of moving on that waterway to qualify, which means certain types of docks do not apply. However, there are exceptions. Injured workers who work on fishing boats, dredges, barges, and certain types of oil rigs that are mobile may be covered by the Jones Act. Certain repair docks may also qualify if they are mobile and move around a harbor. But to qualify, not only must the vessel satisfy the requirements of the Jones Act, but the seaman must work aboard the vessel in a manner that contributes to its operation and not merely for enjoyment or travel purposes. This means that the worker must help further the vessel's mission or objectives in a purposeful manner. For example, an engineer on board may be covered by the Jones Act but a member of the administrative staff taking photographs of the boat for insurance or marketing purposes may not be covered. Unfortunately, even when liability is clear, a defendant will often try to vehemently oppose paying for an injured worker's pain and suffering, medical bills, and lost wages. If you or a loved one were injured on a vessel or offshore oil rig, and believe you might be covered by the Jones Act, call Jim Adler and Associates for help. You can reach us on our website at jimadler.com or by calling us at 1-800-567-7575.